Just one person failing to fill out the census could mean a loss of $2,000 per year. That's the message Congresswoman Elaine Luria wanted to get across during a virtual roundtable discussion today. Tenor News Science Kara Dixon has more on the importance of the census. Challenges to make sure everyone is accounted for. One of the challenges that was brought up over and over again at today's roundtable was that people just don't understand how important it is to fill out their census. They just don't see the importance of it. And that's the big thing that I hope and pray that we can overcome. And that's to make sure Virginians get the right amount of federal funding for the next 10 years. Representative Elaine Loria says every person matters. 1% of our community was undercounted. Um, the amount of federal funding that we could lose in the second district uh, would be approximately a quarter of a million dollars in federal funding for education. The census done every 10 years determines how much money our community gets for things like education, social programs, and emergency services. Ron Brown with the Census Bureau says 2020 should show people why they need to be counted. And more than ever before, due to this pandemic, people are looking for services. They're looking for help. Minorities, immigrants, those who are homeless, as well as people living in domestic violence shelters or living in hotels are often unaccounted for. Letitia Handy with Hampton Citizens Unity Commission says they're working on ways like distributing information through the food bank to make sure people know what to do. Hampton is doing all that we can just as all of the other uh, cities are doing, but it just boils down to information being an important value for the people that need to be counted. Young children are also underrepresented. While the deadline was originally supposed to end at the end of the month, Brown says there's still ongoing litigation to get the date continued, so... We want people to know it's not too late. They can continue to fill out their census forms and turn them in. The Commonwealth's enumerated response rate is about 95%, which is the number of housing units that is either responded through self-response or with field data collections. But they say there are two counties in our area with significantly lower responses, and that's Accomack County and Northampton. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.